Hey guys, this is the message for October 8th, Friday, and I decided to use something new. It's called the Fairy Ring Oracle, and it's by Brian, no, I'm sorry, by Franklin Mason, written by Anna Franklin, and illustrated by Paul Mason. And the card we got was number two, two of, hold on a second, because he has four courts, spring, summer, fall, and um, winter. We got Summer Court card to Waylon Smith, which is like a very famous name, which I always hear a lot. Waylon Smith. Let me just pull this back so you can see it. See the border? See the two and see Waylon? He's working away on his, uh, I'm going to say, metal work. And at the box, at the bottom, you see his lovely name. Waylon Smith. Okay. And basically what they're saying, what this card means, and this is kind of interesting because Friday is kind of like everybody's looking forward to that day. It indicates a period of hard work, creation, craftsmanship, knowledge, skill, mastery. Opportunities and success are at hand, and your efforts bring rewards. This indicates, in some sense, transmutation and forging new things from the old. You know what's interesting about all this? This card actually applies to me. I hope it applies to some of you. Um, I do feel like now that I've made jewelry and that I've been drawing for some time and been doing readings for some time, there is a level of skill there that wasn't there, let's say, way in the beginning. Um, so that's kind of nice, and I do feel a very differently about it. Like I'm, I don't know what the word is, multi-talented, but I notice a lot of other people feel multi-talented too. Like they have a couple of things that they're good at, they just seem to be getting better to the point where people are starting to notice. And I think that's the point, is that you can actually expect to feel that way on Friday, and that people may notice and say something. You may have a celebration, some sort of a promotion. <laughs> of course. And Archangel Raphael is with us, and he's saying, and notice how the scenery is outside. But I have to tell you something. All of the cards are outside. Which, by the way, there was one more reason why I was using this deck. I had felt a strong connection to the Fairy Kingdom for some time. And I had written about it in my blog. I had gotten a little fairy name. You know, I'd gotten some of the fairy props in my backyard which is a pretty well-kept backyard. I mean, we have stuff there, and I go out there all the time. There now are a whole bunch of three- and four-leaf clovers. What's very interesting about this is that you talk to people who talk to you about fairy rings, which is like, you'll see like a ring, and it'll almost look like people were there, like um, there was a gathering there. Um, and it'll either be like a ring of flowers, or you'll see like a ring of dew on, on, on the wet grass. It feels like someone's out there when I'm not there. And not a person. It feels like someone in the elemental kingdom who's now decided to show me just how much my backyard is a part of, I'm going to say, his home. Because I, I keep seeing this little gnome that they're showing me. Um, and I just think this is wonderful. But I think it's also wild that like everything sort of happened at once. I got the cards, and I got this connection, and... Like, within the last three days, I kid you not, there's been, like, the whole backyard just sprouted with all these, like, three and four, three and four leaf clovers. And I'm kind of like, wow, this is <laughs> it's a little kind of eerie. So we'll see what happens around Halloween. Okay, guys, so have a great Friday. Enjoy yourself. Congratulate yourself on your hard work. Know that you're coming to a new level, and I will see you tomorrow.